Hi, I'm Shade and today we are talking about Sonali Dev. But before we get to Sonali Dev, we're going to talk about Jane Austen. I'm such a huge Jane Austen fan, like I've read all of her books multiple times. I've been to the Jane Austen Centre in Bath to eat cake in the Regency Tea Room. Um, it's not, the building is not a place where she actually lived, but she did live on that street and it's sort of done in the same style. I've also been to the house in Chawton, Hampshire, where she spent the last eight years of her life and that was amazing. I feel like her, her examination of society and sort of familial interactions and social hierarchies and class and all of that with comedy and love is just incredible. So I love Jane Austen and I also love the author, the Indian American author Sonali Dev. Um, she writes often about um, beautiful people in Bollywood and the scandals and love affairs and family breakdowns and all of this kind of stuff and I freaking love all of it. So when I heard that Sonali Dev was doing a retelling of some of Jane Austen's books, I was just like, oh my gosh, two amazing parts of my world meeting together. This is fantastic. So um, I've got two of the books. I think, I don't know if she's gonna do more. These are the two that are out right now. So Pride, Prejudice and Other Flavours is about a neurosurgeon called Trisha Raji and she lives in um, San Francisco with her super influential um, Indian family and she's extremely good at her job but there is a sort of pain and tragedy in her life which is some event that happened when she was in um, university with another person called Julia Wickham and um, that has sort of cast a pal over her life and she kind of feels ostracized by her family because of what happened and she's trying to atone for this thing and then she meets this guy called dj kane and he's a chef and he's a super like he's a extremely good he can work miracles with food and he is going to um, cater for an event a huge event that her family is having now he's also going through a whole heap of things because his sister has been diagnosed with a brain tumor an inoperable brain tumor and that's where Trisha Raju is going to come in because she's a neurosurgeon so their worlds clash and merge and they have <laughs> it's fiery they do not get on when they first meet it's very much like Pride and Prejudice and um, they you know draw these have these very judgmental um, sort of perceptions of one another um, which have to be overcome now interestingly I did feel like there was a point at which I was like Trisha Raji I was like this woman I don't know if she deserves this guy or there's a lot about her maybe the way you would feel about Darcy I guess at some points where you're like does he really deserve Elizabeth I don't know that he does but she comes for me personally she did make a comeback from that but you'll have to read it and see if you feel the same way so um it like it's it's, it's great it, it covers a lot of interesting modern social ground feminism um there's rape culture in there there's black lives matter there's all kinds of um uh, you know interesting topical things that Sonali Dev actually um, explores so this is a great novel and it just it powers along and there's tons of food and it's yeah it's really really good so we've got this one Pride Prejudice and Other Flavours and then you've also got Recipe for Persuasion and this one is about Ashna Raji who is Trisha's cousin so it's all the same world and she runs a family restaurant um, but back in the day when she was in high school she fell in love with this boy they had a great relationship and but then there was a whole things happening in her personal life and she was like i can't deal with all of this at once she broke up with him broke his heart he was very bitter and he, they parted ways now years later he was the son of a famous footballer and has now become a super famous footballer himself her life has kind of taken a bit of a nosedive and um, the family restaurant that she's run for years is not doing very well at all it, it does not have very many customers and the last ditch attempt to save it is her going on this um, culinary cooking show with uh, which pairs celebrities with chefs and she gets paired with this famous footballer who is her ex from back in the day now he's got on this show because he wants to teach her a lesson and you know he's still bitter about what happened in the past and he's like I would like to make this woman's life a misery um, so, yeah <laughs> A lot happens and it's there's a um, I guess it looks at sort of family and 
uh, food and just I guess how you recover from trauma in some ways because they're both going through a lot of different things um, there's addiction in there there's yeah there's a lot of different ground it's a really good read slightly slower than the other one but very emotional so I think that's Nadi Dev has done such a great job with both of these books and just kind of preserving the spirit of Jane Austen's original novels in terms of you know looking at family and putting a critical eye on society and class and how you know power hierarchies and all this kind of stuff with you know comedy and love as well so I highly recommend these books they are also very very heartwarming and goodness knows in these present days who could not do with having their heart warmed a little bit so do yourself a favor go out and get some Sonali Dev